If you are looking for a digital planner creation process from start to finish complete with hyperlinks, you are in luck because in this video, I'm going to show you my step-by-step -step process on how I created my August 2021 digital planner using the free version of Canva and the Keynote app. So join me in this video and let's create a digital planner for the month of August. Hi friends, in today's video, we are going to create a digital planner using Canva and Keynote. The Canva that I am using is the free version and the Keynote comes with your iPad or you can download it for free from the App Store. That means this entire process is completely free. So without further ado, let's begin. I'm currently here in Canva and to start, let's create a design. For the size, I will be using a custom one. The width is 2732 pixels and the height is 2048 pixels. This measurement is for a landscape planner, so keep that in mind. I wanted a wooden background, so just type that in in the search bar. For the overall design of this planner, I've really been enjoying ink drawings lately, so I wanted to incorporate that on my journal for August. And at first, the clouds that I used are in color blue, but I switched them up to a black and white so that I can keep the black and white theme that I want to try for this month. While I am designing my cover page, I'm going to walk you through the plan for this digital journal. The first step, which is what I am doing right now, is to design the individual templates of the planner using Canva. I'm not sure if you can create a presentation with hyperlinks in Canva, so I'm going to use the Keynote app. And that is basically the entire process. <laughs> What really takes a lot of time in creating digital planners is the design process or the pre-designing process, not the design process that I am doing right now. This is already the first step of the implementation process. What I am talking about is the process before this one. This is when I ask myself the questions like, what are the different pages I want to use in the planner? Should I create a yearly planner or a monthly planner? or a weekly or daily planner. If I go to this certain page, what other pages should I want to access from there? How many pages should I add for this week or for this tracker? Should I create a complex design where there are different tabs and will definitely take me a couple of days to finish? Or should I create a simple one where I can do the implementation process in one sitting? What apps should I use for this one? And many more questions that I answer every time I plan to create a plan. This may sound intense, but most of the time it is not. So, yeah. The next page that I am currently designing is the monthly goals and overview page. And I use this moon as a design for this part of the planner. For the monthly overview, I decided to try out the list format. I'm not sure if that is what it's called, but yeah, I am trying this format for the month of August and let's see if this works for me. And this is actually what is fun with creating your own digital planner. You can decide what goes in your planner and what won't. The next page is my trackers page and as you can see i am setting the left side as my 1 a.m tracker as i call it and the 1 a.m tracker is not about doing something in the middle of the night but it means one action for one month it is a challenge for myself to do something that is a little uncomfortable and or or new to me and at the end of the month i will evaluate whether to continue and form it as a habit or something and for August, I'm still thinking of an action I want to do. So if you have any suggestion, please comment them down below. So 
So after creating the 1 a.m. tracker, I just copied the calendar layout and duplicated it to create four habit trackers. I used to not add some habit trackers on my planner because I usually forget about them but recently I've been keeping up with the tracking most of the time and it gives me the extra push to complete some if not all of the habits especially when I have a long streak. Now I'm going to create the financial tracker page and I really love tracking my finances. So for this financial tracker, I just decided to lay down some lines just for a simple guide. The next page is one of my most used page this July and it is the brain dump page which is why I am adding it again on my August digital planner. This page is very helpful because I have so many ideas that I want to write down and it is nice to have this space that I can revisit anytime that I want throughout the month or the year to evaluate whether to make them as a goal or something. The next pages are my weekly planners. What I decided in doing with these pages of my digital planner is adding a design element at the center of four note spaces on both sides of the page. I made four pages like this one for the first four weeks of the month of August. And for the last week, I only added two note spaces on the left side for the last two days of the month. And for the right side, I just added one note space to write down my want to do list for next month. So I went back to the tracker pages and added some design elements. The last pages that I am creating are the weekly extra pages. I love journaling and with the weekly pages that we just created, the spaces are not enough to write down all my thoughts, so I always make sure that I add these extra pages on my digital planner. And once all the page designs have been created, let's download them as PNG files. The downloaded file will come as a zip file, so extract it first. Then I added the PNG files in my photo library. Now since all of these are done, let's now create the digital planner in the Keynote app. For the slide size, I'm using the 4x3 size. To make the process of adding some hyperlinks faster later on, I made a slide layout but for now I left it blank but it is what I'm using for the slides in the presentation. I'm just gonna add all the PNG files to the slides. The order by which the pages are arranged is shown in the screen right now.
I added four shapes which will become hidden hyperlinks and I want them to be a default which are present on all the pages. So I set them up on the cover page first and added the hyperlinks, reduces their opacity to zero, then cut. Now I access my slide layout and just paste them there. And as you can see, since we only used one slide layout a while ago, the links that we added are now in all the pages. What we are going to do now is add the additional hyperlinks on the weekly pages. The link list will be shown in the screen for each of the weekly page. I also added some hidden hyperlinks on the calendar page so that I can easily access the weekly pages whenever I am in this calendar page. And the fun part, export the presentation as a PDF file to the GoodNotes app. I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video. This is Kazel and until next time, bye!